you allow Drake in your dressing room before a fight? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> if you're telling, I know I shouldn't. If you're telling me that, I know I shouldn't. You know about the Drake cut. Of course. It's, it's, it's about crazy, all the time. right? It's crazy. It's real though. Is Drake cursed? Why is it that every time he seems to bet, he loses? Even just being around the guy seems to have a negative effect on people. Just ask the Italian football club Roma. In 2019, they banned all of their players from taking photos with Drake. So what's going on? Is the curse real? Or is this just another example of sports fans being overly superstitious? Well, let's run through Drake's biggest losses and see just how cursed the man really is. So things all started in 2019 when Paul Pogba, then of Manchester United, had his picture taken with Drake at one of his concerts. For a Drake fan like Pogba, that must have been a special moment. That is, until he stepped out onto the field. Manchester United lost their next three games. But Pogba wasn't the only one cursed at that concert. Sergio Aguero, who played for rival Manchester team Manchester City, also took a selfie with Drake. He went on to miss a crucial penalty against Tottenham in the Champions League. But the poor performances didn't stop there, because just a few days after Aguero's miss, PSG defender Levin Kurzawa posed with Drake before a match. And surprise, surprise, they went on to lose to their next opponent, Lille, 5-1. That was PSG's worst defeat in 19 years, and it may have even lost them the league title. But it's not just soccer players that have been touched by this curse. UFC fighter Conor McGregor brought Drake out for his pre-match weigh-in against Khabib. The next day, he lost badly. That just added more fuel to the fire that Drake was cursed. But hold on a minute. Are we really going to believe that Drake has the power to influence the outcome of sporting events? We all love Drake, but you don't want Drake associated with your club because that often means that after that, you just don't win. Sorry, Drake. After all, he is just human, right? Well, let's keep digging because if we want to figure out if there truly is a Drake curse, then we have to look at the one person who has, hands down, been the biggest victim in all of this. And that is Drake himself. You see, Drake likes to gamble. I mean, he really likes to gamble. In fact, he's now gambled at least a billion dollars on the betting site stake.com. But it's not his casino games that have fans worried. You see, what really gets fans nervous is when Drake bets on their team. Now, it's not like he hasn't won at all. In fact, he's won some pretty big payouts, but he's also made some disastrous choices over the years. In March 2022, Drake backed the UFC fighter George Masvidal in his fight against Colby Covington. Drake bet a whopping $275,000, which he lost when Masvidal lost the fight. He, he outwrestled you, bro. He, he outwrestled you, man. Did the curse strike again? Well, Drake's bet may or may not have had any effect on Masvidal, but one thing it did affect <laughs> was Covington. He took Drake's bet as a personal insult. Let's talk about all the, the money that Drake lost tonight. He needs to go back to, you know, selling those albums to get back the money. Drake, you suck at sports betting. Go back to your little albums of rapping. Um. Now, fast forward two months and Drake dropped another giant bet on a UFC fight. This time, it was $425,000 on Justin Gaethje. It was a close fight, but Justin lost and Drake's money didn't fare any better. I apologize, but you bet on the wrong guy. Now, let's pause for a second. That's Israel Izzy Adesanya, another UFC fighter, and another supposed victim of Drake's highly contagious bad luck. Given that Izzy was favorite to win his fight against the Brazilian Alex Pereira, Drake probably thought that his $2 million bet was safe, but he was wrong. Pereira came back in the fifth round to beat Izzy, and Drake had to say goodbye to yet another giant chunk of cash. Now, I don't know if curses can be passed on, but it certainly seems like Izzy might have given it to the boxer Jake Paul at some point. That's because Jake recently had his own alleged run-in with the curse when he lost to Tommy Fury. Tommy didn't seem too concerned that he caused Drake to lose another $400,000. 
Tommy, I'm sure you're aware that uh, Drake had 400 bags on Jake Paul. Yeah. So he's lost a lot of money, has Drake. Lost a lot of money, silly fella. In fact, he seemed happy about it. Of course, it's easy to laugh about the curse and say that it's nonsense. But when you're as emotionally invested in a team as some fans are, then it's easy to let fear take over. Once that happens, you can start to believe in anything. Which is why Argentina fans were, no doubt, feeling anxious when they heard this announcement. Maybe I'll take maybe I'll take Argentina. We'll yeah, do like yeah. A, we'll do like a steak bet, me versus you. Oh, that'd be ooh. good, no? No, not good. If you were an Argentina fan at that moment, you were probably burying your head in your hands and asking, "Why us?" And I can only imagine what the coaches at Argentina were thinking. After all, if Roma banned their players from taking selfies with Drake, then you have to believe that there are at least some superstitious managers out there. Fortunately for Messi and Argentina, Drake was the only victim this time around. Why was he a victim? Well, Argentina won, but they didn't win during the 90 minutes of the match. They needed extra time and penalties, and that meant because the teams were drawing at the end of the 90 minutes, Drake lost his million dollar bet. Gosh, even when he picks right, he still loses. So what are we supposed to think about the Drake curse? curse. You guys are, oh, not you guys, but anyone who's so, so stupid, stupid. Is Izzy right? Are we going overboard with the whole Drake curse phenomenon? Maybe the simple truth is that people just like to hear about rich celebrities throwing their money away. After all, does anyone really want to read about Drake winning and only getting richer? Where's the fun in that? You can be sure that story never makes the headlines. But if you'd like to hear about crazy celebrity spending, then I recommend you check this video next.